You shouldn't be here. See this? Too late. Guess it really works. Leia was right. Hello? An intruder has been badly injured on my property. It's the Johansson farm. Please hurry. I'm telling you, they were right there. I, I don't understand it. There was blood all over the place. Carl, did you hurt someone? I... I don't know. Looks like our canine unit didn't come back with anything either. And one of our dogs is missing. As far as I can tell, nothing happened to your Carl. But if that changes, you know how to get in touch with me. It's an honor to be a needle-bearer, Eric. Especially at her age. If you applied yourself more, you'd know that. I just don't think this is the best thing for Faith right now. She's already scared, and sometimes the Foundation is... Well, scary. Listen, you know I'll support you no matter what, but... No buts! My word is final on this, Eric. Why are you yelling? Faith, honey, aren't you supposed to be playing in your room? I got bored playing alone. Go back upstairs. Mommy and Daddy are talking. But I want to play hide-and-seek! I want Mommy to play! How about I play with you? No, I want mommy. She never plays with me. She's always working at the foundation. Screaming and throwing a fit isn't how we get our way. That's what you do. Maybe if I yell and shout, I can get what I want too. Faith? Honey? Play with me! That's it. Go upstairs to your room. You're in timeout, young lady. No! Faith! Say you're sorry. Now! Faith! Come back here right now! I'll go get her. <sighs> no. I'll talk to her. Faith? Are you down here? Are you over here? Faith? Papa, are you listening to me? Uh, sorry, Angel. What was that? <sighs> I have her dress picked out upstairs. Speaking of which, did you find her ring? I want to make sure we have everything ready for her burial. Astrid, are you sure you want to bury it with her? She wanted you to have it. I know. It's just... The idea of wearing it... It doesn't feel right. What if I give it to Mette instead? Why would you want to do that? It belonged to her mother and her sister. It would be nice for her to have it if you don't want it. No, Papa. It would be weird if she wore it. So you don't want it, but Mette can't have it either? Some things aren't worth inheriting. Detective, what can I do for you? We found your mother's remains, but there was a complication. I'm afraid Ingrid's body has been desecrated. What? Desecrated? How? How could this happen? Astrid was right. I knew we couldn't trust you to come true for us. I'm sorry. I. Your apologies aren't going to fix what's been done. This is just another attack against this family. We'll hold your mother's body until you're ready to bury her. You can contact my office if you have any further questions.
I'm sorry you're going through this. I could help with the funeral or your father. Why would you want to do that? I know you don't trust me, but I sincerely do want to help. We used to be so close, you and I. I'd like us to be again. I could handle contacting the other guests. Or maybe I can put together some catering for the reception. <laughs> I was always a better cook than your mother. I have enough to deal with managing Papa. I can't spend my days inventing things to make you feel helpful. Oh. Okay, then. I'll... I'll find something to keep myself busy. Orson, let's go figure out where to lay your grandma to rest. What are you doing? Just looking through Ingrid's old things. Ingrid wanted Astrid to have it. That was my mother's ring. Mama wore it every day until she died. Even when she rolled Chutkaket for Sunday dinner, she never took it off. Ingrid never told me that story. Ingrid never did appreciate the honor of owning it. You said she wanted to give it to Ostri? Yes, well, that was Ingrid's wishes. But Astrid wants to bury it with her mother for some reason. I see. Well, traditionally, this ring has passed through our family to the eldest surviving woman. That means it should go to you? It was what my mother wanted. I should get that. <laughs> 